Hi, welcome to SAP Logbox course. I am SAP FICO consultant with 15 years of SAP implementation experience. In this course, we will be discussing in detail SAP Logbox. We will understand the SAP Logbox business process. We will then look into SAP Logbox configuration. We will do hands-on SAP hands-on Logbox configuration in the SAP system. We will update the master data which is required for Logbox to run successfully. We will understand the Logbox file. So Logbox file has a uniform structure across US. We will go in detail to understand Logbox file structure like header contents, header fields, detail fields, overflow records fields, batch tra trailer fields, total records field, etc. We will then build our own test Logbox file. We will import the Logbox file based on the configuration done by us. And then as part of the last step in the end-to-end -end SAP Logbox learning, we will do the post-processing. So post-processing is the last step in SAP Logbox process, uh, whereby if some of the line items have not automatically posted in SAP, are manually posted. At a high level, the Logbox process is explained here. So uh, basically, we have customers a company may have thousands of customers and they will remit their payments through checks which the company will collect and then enter them manually in the SAP and deposit these checks in the bank. Someone has to deposit checks in the bank and once the checks get cleared in the bank, bank will send a bank statement which could be manual electronic and then again the money is updated money comes in the sap or bank account what logbox does it automates this whole manual process of receiving the check entering the check and receiving the money so customers instead of sending check to the company will send to the bank specified by the company bank has a log box number which is a PO box number, post office box number. So all the checks along with the payment advice are sent by the customer to this PO box number. Now bank collects these checks, collects the payment for these checks and prepare an electronic file. This file has the customer name, check number and the amount of the check and some other details like customer invoice for which the payment has been made. This electronic file which which is a BAI2 file structure is sent electronically by the bank to the company. The company's SAP system receives this file and automatically posts in the system and once the file posts bank account gets debited with the amount of money customers have sent and customers open invoice in the SAP gets cleared. So the whole process is automated through the this lockbox process. This is the high level overview of the lockbox process. In this course, we will discuss in detail the full business process, its configuration in SAP, the file structure, creating the file, testing the file and the configuration and post-processing of the lockbox file. So welcome to the course. See you in the SP Lockbox course. Thank you.